The Smart Move system uses the mobile phone network and the internet to provide a fully automated flexible dispatch solution. Smart Move provides both the in-vehicle equipment and its own booking and dispatch software for use in the call centre. The cars regularly report their position to the server and the mapping lets you see where all the cars are. Bookings can be entered in various ways, but in this video, we are considering only the bookings created from a phone call. First, open the dispatch client by double-clicking the icon. Enter your username and password, then select the handset you will be using. The handset selection applies only if your phone system allows the connection. You may now receive a pop-up asking you to select your fleets. Select the fleets required and press OK. The dispatch dashboard will now open. This is an overview of your fleets currently running and current jobs. The search tab allows you to search the database for any jobs entered into the system, past or present. The dispatch screen is next. This is the main operating screen that you will use as an operator. The messages screen allows you to send a message directly to a driver, along with the ability to search and view messages drivers have sent to the base. The alert screen shows the details of any job warnings or driver voice call requests, along with the panic button activations and any system generated alert. The Manage Jobs page allows you to more closely manage particular jobs. This is typically used for wheelchair or silver service bookings. We will now cover in more detail the main sections provided on the dispatch screen. This is the main screen you will be using as an operator. This screen contains four sections of information. The Job Queues page shows jobs that are waiting to be dispatched, pre-bookings, in-progress bookings and completed bookings. The zone status shows you the number of cars in each zone. The job details section shows the details for a selected job. The vehicle status shows you the status of each vehicle in the fleet. These statuses are also colour coded. Pink shows a car that is unavailable. Green shows a vacant car. Brown shows a car booked. Blue shows a car engaged. Purple shows a car that is logged out. Black shows a car that is not connected to the system. There is also a bar graph at the bottom of the page which shows the same coloured categories. The operator can sort any of the columns by clicking on the respective label. Clicking a second time changes the order of the sorting. In the job queues section on the dispatch screen, there are a number of tabs which separate the job information for easier access. Pending bookings. This shows bookings that have recently been entered. Normally the jobs will disappear after 30 seconds, but will stay in the queue if there is no connection to the server. If there is an extended outage, these jobs will need to be manually dispatched. The job cover tab contains jobs that are awaiting an available taxi. These include ASAP bookings and pre-booked jobs that are scheduled for dispatching to a vehicle. These jobs are also colour-coded to provide an indication of time in the queue. Pre-bookings. This queue contains jobs that are booked for pickup at a future time. The jobs in this list are moved to job cover shortly before the requested pickup time. This lead time is specified by fleet management. In progress, this list shows bookings currently being serviced. A job is placed on this list when the driver accepts the job. Hail in progress. This list shows which cars are engaged as the result of a walk-up or hail. These are jobs that have not been booked, although all the job details are recorded in the same way as a booked job. Completed. This list contains the jobs that have been completed. When you first log on, the previous few hours are loaded so you can see the recent history. Jobs are placed in this list when the meter in a vehicle is turned off. This screen is intended as a quick reference. A full record of completed jobs can be accessed with the search screen. The action screen shows any jobs that may require manual intervention by the operator. This happens when a job is too old or when the system gets confused about the state of a job. You will need to decide whether to requeue the job or cancel it. Cancelled. This screen contains a list of jobs that have been cancelled. A more comprehensive list can be obtained using the search screen. No-shows. 
This tab displays a list of jobs that a driver has cancelled using the no-show button in the car. The driver should be at the pickup address when they use this button. Model. This tab lists model or reoccurring bookings within the system. Model bookings are linked to a caller and are used for jobs which are frequently booked by this caller. Recurring is used for bookings that are repeated regularly. School run pickups are a common use of recurring bookings.